Bond, take care of yourself. and maybe I won't kill you. Hiya, fellas. Look at the balls on this guy. Nice to see you, too. Don't move a muscle. Come on. Listen to the friendly bartender and stop fucking around, Vito. Now, first of all, I gotta ask you to slowly toss your guns on the floor. No funny business, neither. The bartender's got the itchiest trigger finger in town, huh? I'm not armed. Okay, so what are you doing here, Vito? We wasn't expecting you. I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. I heard some of your guys picked him up. Eh, maybe. What are you trying to pull? Me and Joe didn't do nothing to you. Mr. Vinci doesn't seem to think so. He wanted a few things explained to him. So that's what Joe is doing. And since you've stopped by, why don't we go and join them? And what if I don't want to? These guns say you do. But don't worry. It's got a hell of a view. Ah. Uh. Hey, what's up, Joe? The assholes went to take a leak. <sighs> Great. What can you explain to me why the fuck we're here? That old fuck Vinci can't see what's going on right in front of his face. And he thinks I can explain it to him. Idiot. Oh, the happy couple is here already. Welcome, Vito. What's going on? You got no reason to treat us like this. No reason? No reason? First, the business with Leo. And then all hell breaks out in the city. The chinks, they're going nuts. Everybody's fighting like lunatics. And now, those yellow bastards are threatening to kill me. It's out of fucking control. Now, I'm too old for this shit. So you're gonna tell me what the hell's going on here? Come on, I'm all ears. Mr. Vinci, look. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on here. Believe me. Me and Joe ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't what I want to hear. Yeah, well, that's your problem. Because we don't know shit about any of this. That's too bad. Finally. We don't got much time. We gotta do something. All right. We'll try to break the pipe. Come on, help me out. I can't do it by myself. Okay. One, two, three! One, two, three! Again! One, two, three! Fuck you! You filthy fuck! Come on! Come on! Fuck!
You go first. Yeah. <laughs> 
Vito, they fucked me up pretty good. I think I need a doctor. Okay. Let's get you over to El Greco. Chest. Every time I breathe, I think they broke my damn ribs. Take it easy. El Greco's gonna fix you up. Yeah. <coughs> sure. <coughs> uh, fuck. Every time I cough, it feels like I'm being stabbed. Suspect is about chest. six feet tall, dark hair, you know you medium build. Worse it's gonna be. So listen, Vito. Ten four. Uh, thanks for coming after me. That almost getting yourself killed. Hey, we're in this together, right? Just like always. Now just sit the fuck back before you get blood all over my pants and I really do stand in the chest. <laughs> oh, you picked the hell of a time to turn into a fucking comedian. Yeah. I can make it. What do you want me to do with the money? Take it to Bruno. All right. At least that'll be out of the way. Uh. Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, what happened to you? Hey, Doc. I got my ass kicked at... <coughs> I'm coughing up what blood. What is happening today? One of your uh. guys is already here. Uh. Who? His name is Antonio Balsamo. Tony Balls? What happened to him? Somebody messed him up pretty good. Uh, I don't think uh, he's ever going to uh, walk again. What? <laughs> this surprises you? All the blood, uh, all the death. Uh, this is the lifestyle you choose. Uh, uh, One day your luck is bound to run out. Uh, the next time, it could uh, be you. And off with the sermon, Doc. You have time to treat Joe? Yes, but you'll have to wait a minute while I fix Antonio up. That's okay, Doc. All right, come in. Make sure you settle things with Bruno, okay? And Vito, thanks. Sure thing. Feel better.
I need to see Bruno. Got the money? Yeah. Come on in then. You're lucky. We were just about to leave. Good evening. You have the money for me? Or do you wish to extend the deadline? Here it is. <laughs> I have to admit, this is somewhat of a surprise. I heard you boys had some... complications. Yeah, we did. I heard that Henry is dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. Isaac, count it. So your little business venture was a success? You got your money, right? Right, right. It's just that the whole city has been turned up. Upside down, the Chinese think the Italians attack them, so they're going after Vinci. That's not good. Not good. Would that have anything to do with the reason you borrowed this money? Sorry, Bruno. That's none of your business. Uh, thank you, Isaac. It looks like the debt is settled. I don't even know your name. Vito. Vito who? Vito Scaletta. Eh, Scaletta. I knew a Scaletta once, but I must say, you're much better at paying back your debts than he was. His poor wife had to do it for him. So it was you who lent my father the money. <laughs> your father? Ah, like father, like son. I see you don't approve, but I didn't make him borrow the money, now did I? Just like I didn't make you. If you ever need a loan, you know where to find me. <laughs> sure. I couldn't sleep. Things were bad. And they were only gonna get worse. The truth was gonna come out sooner or later. And then we were gonna have Falcone after us along with the Chinese and Vinci. This wasn't how I imagined it when we were starting out. I dreamed of money, cars, women, respect, freedom. I guess I ended up getting all that, more or less. But along with it came prison. Living in constant fear, and the blood of my friends. I ducked it as long as I could, but it was finally catching up with me. It was all just a matter of time. <laughs> 